Let's put on a chef's hat and gather round. All right, all right. Isn't Theo here? Raphael? You haven't seen Theo? He'll be 15 minutes late, boss. Just like every Monday. They're teenagers, but already dreaming of becoming masters. Cordon Bleu chef, Raphael and his classmates. Under the watchful eye of their hotel school teachers, to learn how to chisel, confit, brown, coat, blanche, or heat, and earn their bachelor's degree in cooking. But the shock team. What are we going to do? Oh, we'll go and see the chef. Chef, do you have any knives I could borrow? Raphael is a 16-year-old apprentice. He alternates two weeks at school and two weeks in a restaurant. For a long time, the culinary profession was devalued, but TV shows and the media coverage of top chefs have made it fashionable. They're very friendly, they're very good listeners. They take the time to teach us things. If we have a problem, they explain it to us again. That's another of the pleasures of the back pro for us. It's not like in general education, where if you don't understand something, you're left out. Thibaut, you've started to garnish. At the beginning of the year, it was all cuts. Our hands were in the field. It wasn't a pretty sight, but now it's much better. It's 10 past 10, hello? 10 past 10. The youngsters are no longer learning to be cooks, but chefs, cooking a real meal for the school's application restaurant on the floor above. 40 place settings. Disabled youngsters are also trained to serve, like Mikhail, a 20-year-old with Down syndrome. A little bit, it causes. Our sleep is getting worse. Ah, jet lag. All right, Michael. Right now, what do we put on? What do you think is missing? Yeah, what's cleaning? So you're going to put them on. Two eggs, a crisp to follow, two prawns and a tartare. Cooking may be less boring than a math class, but Raphael is discovering that it requires just as much rigor and exacting standards. You have to be very meticulous, you have to be... You need to be careful and patient as many people will fall from the plates. Oh, I'm going to screw up. Students still have the right to make a mistake before plunging into a sector where a hundred thousand jobs are to be filled every year. So today was very good, the customers were very happy. It was a lot better than last week. Just a few things that bother me. At 11 o'clock you went out and still hadn't changed the garbage cans. Well, cheer up. We're off. See you soon. Welcome back. Inaugurated in 1935, the Médéric Hotel School in Paris is free of charge, unlike other elitist establishments costing over 30,000 euros. Thanks to the apprenticeship system, tuition is even paid. Every year, the school receives 2,000 applications for 700 places. 100% of its graduates land a job on graduation. Raphael's father is a florist in Paris. His mother is a beautician. His older brother, 20 years old, is studying finance. It's true that ever since Raphael was a little boy, he was always next to me, cutting tomatoes and cucumbers, and that gave us a chance to chat. Disappointed with his schooling, Raphael repeated the ninth grade. Despite his poor academic record, he was accepted at the Mederic School after shining at the motivational interview. At the end of the third year, we wondered what they were going to do with him academically, because he was completely unmotivated. And the fact that he had enrolled in this professional section revealed everything about him. When you work in the kitchen, you have a lot of responsibility. 
Now it's not our parents who wake us up, it's ourselves. We must take charge and be independent. Of all the grandchildren, he's the only one to have taken up this branch. So, it's great. I'm not too tired. Uh, no. The school has a well-stocked address book when it comes to finding restaurants for apprentices. How are you doing? Fine, Fred. But this time, it's no longer a class. Raphael has a contract with a couple of real restaurateurs who have a business to run. Romain, 30, and Julia, 23, former students of the Médéric School. Put away all the vegetables, then potatoes. Potato peeling. Exactly, exactly. You got your list right here? Right. Okay, and then we'll move on to the show pastry because I don't have any Paris breast. Okay. Raphael earns 400 euros a month and works up to 10 hours a day. It's really the kids. We're involved in their upbringing, we're involved in their education. So in fact, we have to stand behind them like parents. If you have to slap them on the wrist, you have to keep an eye on them. We're announcing please, so we don't have to cover our asses. An apron, two tatins to follow, a dorado, a gambas, a sea bass. Please, drinks on the table anytime. Yes, thank you very much. If the apprentice misses a plate, this time the customers will be less indulgent than at the training school. Raphael handles the dessert station alone without a net, or almost. Yes, chef. Maybe we'll get him next. Now watch. Yes. There we are. You use your hands, actually, to put your maris. What's that smell, Raphael? I know, but I don't know. Oh, yes, peppers. The Ecole Hôtelière Médéric Trains Apprentis who were fed up with studying. But also an increasing number of surprising profiles. Some young people, much more highly qualified, no longer hesitate to leave everything behind to retrain. Just a stone's throw from Place Vendôme, the Louvre and the Tuileries, one of the most luxurious hotels in Paris. Being an apprentice here is a golden line on your CV. Even if it means working flexible hours and a much more modest salary, palace pastry shops. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Chloe starts her shift. The longest days last until the end of the evening shift, after which there's a break in the afternoon to rest and take a nap, which can last until 11 p.m. 13-hour days for an apprentice's salary of 1,000 euros a month. If you need any, I've got some in my fridge. At the age of 24, after studying science, Chloe returned to the bottom of the ladder and prepares her cap cuisine. To do this for a long time, I had done my third year internship at the Tour d'Argent. And then my parents pushed me to study a little further. So I went to engineering school. After engineering school, I realized that this was what I wanted to do. And so this year I started working in the restaurant business. Nothing to do with her previous life as a computer engineer. The hours are pretty tough, and then, of course, you're on your feet all the time. It's hard not to have daylight. Chloe also has to find her place in a large brigade of 45 cooks, with an almost military way of working. You're going to keep your mouth shut and do what he tells you, okay? Yes. I don't want to go any further. White backgrounds, white backgrounds, you see yesterday? You're getting into the habit of putting the white fun pouches in this way. When you're on duty, you don't have time to take a tea towel to put the white base on. If it's there, you'll burn your hand. Chloe's apprentice master is Jocelyn Erland, a famous two-star chef, also an alumnus of the Mederick School. As you can see, he works well. It's not easy at all, because it's a complete rethink. Our role as apprentice masters is to pay attention to this rhythm, too. The idea is not to lose people. The idea is to get them up to speed. Remember this? If Mr. Lucas had wanted trainees, he wouldn't have put a door here. Five minutes, Edward. 
Remember what I told you about yes. the heater? It's over there. Yes. Keep the rhythm. Yes. The moment it's good, the rhythm. Don't let go of the beat. Don't let go. Careful back there. There's the tartare and fries. Do you often give yourself a boost like that? That it happens? Not all the time, but when you know you're in for a big service, you have to get into it. I prefer not to come. Fish or no fish. The young engineer is learning her trade at the basic station, vegetable garnishes. She prepares compositions on plates and cuts plants into brunoise, julienne, or jardinière shapes. Two minutes, we set up. Two minutes, we're in place. Two minutes, we're ready. If in the 15 seconds of the ad you haven't given us the time, we'll give you the time. How much time did we claim for you, gentlemen? Uh, we've been more discreet with computers. That's for sure. Less rhythm, you might say. Are we getting used to it, too? You get used to the rhythm. You have no choice anyway. But that's what I like, too. You don't get bored. You move a lot faster than you used to behind a desk. You really see what you're doing. You see the results immediately. It's completely different. I prefer it. Chloe could have had an executive life. Here, she has to obey without question and endure. With humility, the chef, just like any other rookie chef. Do you have the bowls of what? The velouté sharing bowls. We've got three of them. I don't know. It doesn't say share on it, you bunch of losers. Quickly, velouté bowls. Four. Bowls. Four bowls in a hurry. Go ahead. Get me some bowls. Get me the garnishes, the cream, velvety cream. Go ahead, share. Don't think, boy. Go ahead. Get out the bowls. Spread it out. In mode. I want four garnishes. Let's do it. Go, go, go. Cream in hand. I've got the cream in my hand. Boo, toppings, chef, chef. This is taking too long. I don't need this. I need the garnishes to share. That's all you've got left. Go ahead, make me chestnut onions. Go on, hurry up. There's no time to play. Go on, stop playing, stop playing. It's served, they're planted. It's to share, it's all for sharing. Come on, a little chive. Give me two onions, let's go. Go ahead, there's no need to think. Chestnut, go ahead, quickly, you don't have... Chloe won't quit her apron, despite the chef and the mustard at the peak. Lucia. When we stop, you're making noise. I just don't get it. What are you gonna do when you accelerate? Hot, hot. Where's the tartar? The tartar and the fries. Basta! Do you get it, Francisco? Weekends are the only time when the young apprentice can relax with her family. I don't mind if you come with me. Her parents are both psychologists, so they have nothing to do with the world of catering, which they're also discovering, and which worries them a little. You can see she's really tired. Physically, you can see it. She's got dark circles under her eyes, so she does a lot of sport despite it all, but it's not the same kind of tiredness. But you can see that she's tired and that sometimes her hand's a bit rough, then she hurts herself. Yesterday, she bumped her head, so she's in pain. Well, yes, it's a physical job where it's better to be in good health, I think, and where you have to live naturally all the same. But Chloe has no regrets about her change of direction. It's true that we went to the engineering school graduation on Saturday, and the few young people who spoke weren't necessarily fulfilled in what they were doing, those in auditing or finance, and it's true that in the end, it doesn't make you want to do it. It's true that I... So there are some who are passionate, but there are also many who are happy to have a good situation to be able to go out and do what they like and what they want to do. And so they're more fulfilled by their life on the side than by work, where it's a way of earning a living more than anything else. Later on, the young woman would like to combine cooking with her engineering skills to create a startup for innovative food products, for example. There are those who dropped out of school, those who are retraining late in life, and those who, from an early age, wanted to be champions of the kitchen. Such is the case of 19-year-old Marie Diana. On this day in Montpellier, the Médéric School presents its best pastry student at the French Dessert Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Pierre Hermé, who has just joined us. Pierre Hermé, named best pastry chef in the world by his peers, is the president of a celebrity jury. He too is an apprentice. So first we have Vincent. 
Now calm your nerves. And then go. Marie Diana is the only daughter of a restaurateur and a baker. She's always been an excellent student. At 15, she pursued a professional bakery and pastry making diploma. Cyril is her coach. The best idea is the one you have, right? No matter what, either way, you miss, we dive in together. Here we go for the first round. The eight candidates, already regional champions, have 15 minutes to discover the ingredients in a surprise basket. They have to create 10 plates with the help of a commis. Thanks to these renowned contests, these youth who left formal school early no longer feel like they're on a dead-end street. They feel valued and can win a national title. Come on, hurry up. There's not much time left. Marie Diana has to hand in her copy, or rather her plates. You're in your minute of tolerance, aren't you, Mariana? And now we're into the eight-point penalty. You've got one minute left. And after that, it's a big penalty, you know. Come on, let's go. OK, can we go on? The second round is a free dessert. Marie Diana pays tribute to her. Corsican origins with a creation. Rosemary meringue, caviar lemon cream, olive oil cookies, candied cedar, maki herb sorbet, immortal zephyr and opal inotin. Just a minute. L'immortel in front. The young lady doesn't glance at the other competitors. discipline. She also has to be eloquent, tell the jury a story using the scents and flavors of her childhood. But Marie Diana thinks she's failed her first test. She's also been awarded the 10-point penalty for being late. Her coach comforts her. It's all over. You know, we took the backpack off. It's light. No, you're happy, though? No. Anyway, it never goes the way we want it to. Anyway, it's never clean. It doesn't happen. It's verdict time. So the winner, the French junior champion, is not a winner, but a winner. It's Marindiana Bourdain. Two days later, we find the French junior dessert champion in the restaurant One Star Michelin, where she's an apprentice. It's not a marriage proposal, but do you mind if I leave the dessert you won with the French Junior Championship on the restaurant menu? Once again, if it suits you and Julian, why not? Marie Diana doesn't yet know where she'll pursue her career. For now, she's giving it her all in this restaurant serving inventive French cuisine. Morning with an oriental touch. A tasting menu. Billed at 100 euros per person. It is tempura with seven grains and then smoked with royal mint. In the basement, the champion helps Julian, the pastry chef. So, Julian, for the tweels, when you... We cook. You want to go out. This one you cook for eight minutes. Marie Diana might become one of those star pastry chefs that top restaurants snatch up with salaries of at least 5,000 euros net. But to reach this level, she had given up all rest and leisure, training on her rare days off. So, what do you feel like doing? I'm going to sleep. It'll do me good. Just sleep, sleep, sleep. That's the truth. Before bedtime, an aperitif. The champion celebrates her title at the hotel school. Marie Diana. 
Bravo to thank you. She's got her gold medal. She's champion of France. Bravo. But the school has its trophy, too, from dessert to plate. I've already been asked if you have any plans for next year. I tell you, but we've already got a lot of people lined up. Like a Miss France, Marie Diana will be taking part in one festive event after another for the next year. Guest of honor, for example, at the Salon du Chocolat. After that, she'd like to promote the new French pastry abroad.